Hello again everyone and welcome back to this series on how to draw iconic movie characters. Now before we start of course if you haven't already subscribed could you do that please? Thank you very much. And also ring that little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay well the iconic movie character today is the Wolfman from the classic Universal movie of 1941 starring Lon Chaney Jr. And I'm going to start with the eyes. Uh, fairly narrow come up like that and the view is slightly to the side so this eye will appear something like that and you're kind of looking up so you get the pupil like that with the highlight just beside it there okay the other one starts about here have a curve there or up at the angle and then slightly more of a curve underneath there like that with your pupil coming in there the center of the iris and the highlight beside it there okay there the nose comes down like this and there are ridges right along it i suppose you know originally taken from the a wolf head itself you know the whole idea of the ridges down the nose there but the front of it's quite flat so you get the nostrils appearing like that almost slightly pig like like that okay with the side of the nostril coming in about there now there's quite dramatic light and shade in this um but i'll be doing that in later just indicating it just now now below that we have the mouth fairly near the bottom of the nose there and again it curves around so you'll see it from the point of view starting about here going up and then going down and curling around behind there with the top lip coming in like that and the bottom lip hanging kind of almost in a loose curve there with the bottom lip taking that kind of shape like that okay you'll see the, the gums and then the teeth you know the great big kind of incisors at the bottom there and then three kind of misshapen ones in the middle another big one coming in like that okay and all the hair on the face you know it's all over the face in fact so what I'll do eventually is to put lots of little marks in to show where the hairs go. But that's the main shape just now, down to the chin, which is a bit here. Now up to the eyebrows now, and they slope upwards like that. And the underside of the eyebrow here is catching the light. So above that, this area in here, that's going to be quite dark. So I'll draw the dark shape first of all. This drawing comes from the classic movie poster and there's also a, there are other illustrations and photographs of uh, this particular card but I think this is one of the best. Okay now the top of the head is actually quite dome-like you know because up with a great curve away up to about here. Great big curve like that. So as you go down you can draw the shapes of the, the hair sticking out all the way around like that okay and again because it's going over on a curve there and the light's coming from underneath this area here will all be dark too so I'm just going to draw the area that will be dark with the pencil just now just to show you roughly where all that dark area is going to occur and then across from the eyes here we have the ear appearing just about here like that okay and remembering this is uh, all got hair all over it so you can just draw the shapes and the idea of the hair following the curve of the face coming down like that and the muscle coming down from the side of his nose down his cheek here will be light at the top, it catch the light there and then a bit of a shading above it. And then his chin comes round and a line 
like that where these lines of the hair appearing like that and then this bit coming down here following the cheekbone down the side of his face there and in this particular say, iconic picture of him he's kind of leaning forward so his shoulders are not quite high there like that on his shirt open with the, the collar coming in like that so you can see all the hairs on his neck and his chest coming in here okay now before I do some shading I'm going to take a pen as a point eight and I'm just going to go over my pen lines here and sharpen up the details a bit more okay so basically that's all I'm going to do for the moment so I'll work on that and I'll let you see it when I've done it. Okay. All right. I've been outlining these pencil lines and also filling in a lot of the, the little bit of hair shapes, you know, little kind of jagged shapes that's going to fill in most of the dark areas here. Down the side of his cheekbone here, you get another bit of shading and I'll just put that in like that. And some down here and also around here. Okay, and once I've done that, what I'll do is I'll get a dark pencil and I'll put in the really dark areas of shading, remembering the light's coming from under here. So in fact, that side of his nose, it's going to rub out that little line there. That's going to catch the light, that part there, okay, and be slightly darker up here. Okay. Right, I'll get the pencil now. Okay, right, now this part here is catching the light, so this part above it, the shape that I drew in there, that's going to be really dark. So again, I'll shade it in, shade it in with the pencil strokes going in the direction of the hair, like that. Okay, and the same with this part up here. Can do that. Actually what I can do is first of all I can do it very quickly over it like that then draw over the top with these lines like that. That brings more of a quality to your to your drawing. The sensation of the the fuzziness of the head, <laughs> like that. Okay, all right, I'm just moving down now. Had a deep shadow down the side of the nose here, like that, and down this side of the jaw, and this side of the mouth. And of course in here as well, around the teeth. Okay, and some dark shading under here. All right, just outlining the face now. My shading in the shirt. Doing that uh, a bit of work so it stands out like that. And I'll work up here a bit more too. Okay, and then what I think I'll do is get a pen and work into this the dark area just that bit more to sharpen it up. Okay, I'm just finishing off now, sharpening it up with little pen lines, you know, darker in there, a bit darker in there, coming up around the eyes here. Excellent! Well, that gives you an idea of what uh, the Wolfman looked like originally in 1941. Hope you enjoyed that, and hope you can join me again for another tutorial. But in the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing!